Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all doing all right. I'm okay. A little tired, but I'm okay. I've been up since like I would say five o'clock. All these ideas been coming in my head, so I guess the creative juices are flowing. I try to write as much down as I can so I don't forget them. But I don't know. I guess you have to go with the flow. I finally got up at around. I think it was around six o'clock. And I said, why am I still sitting here? Why am I still laying here, actually? I may as well go with it. I may as well be productive. It's not going to let me sleep because I keep coming with more and more and more vision. So I may as well just go with it. So I decided to get up. So, yeah, my day's already started. So I went and got this piece of wood. I work on canvas boards, um, mainly canvas boards, and I will work on wood panels. And I will work on any piece of wood, as long as it's workable. Now this used to be a shelf, part of a shelf. I've got a couple of pieces. So I said, no, we're not going to throw that away. I can repurpose that and turn it into some a good piece of art. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, this is, I'm not quite sure the length and width of it. It looks like a 10 by 24 maybe, or 10 by 20 piece of wood. and. I am just going to let it blow. So I've got my paint right here. I wasn't really going to look at you today because I know I've got bags on my eyes, so you've got to forgive me on that. Because I, like I said, I am tired. I've got a full day today too. So that's why I was trying to force myself to go back to sleep, but it didn't work. But I'm priming this. I'm priming this with acrylic paint. Um, I use oil or acrylic on wood, but I always try. I always prime it first. Now you can buy um, what is it? Gesso, gesso. Some people say gesso, whichever it's gesso. Um, and you put a coat of that. It's white. You just put a coat of that on, and then you can start painting. But well, I use the acrylics too, and I may as well go with the color scheme that I'm going to be using on it. So. It works just as good, and I've got a whole bunch of acrylic here. I mean, we may as well use it. I've got a jar of gesso too, but it's white, and I don't really want to have to keep going over it again with the acrylic to to get the darker colours that I need. I've never seen a black um, gesso, so I don't know if they even do it. But yeah, I'm using black and blue right now. And I don't care how it goes on, because like I said, it's an undercoat just to prime the wood, basically. And I'm actually working on like five different pieces. And I said, no, Lonnie, you've got to centre yourself, centre yourself. So I'm going to prime this so that it's ready for when I start it. I most probably get back on it later on today when I get back. And then I'm going to go back to the one that I've already started. Um, it's an acrylic piece. I've got, I'm, I've got like two acrylic pieces and three oil pieces going at the same time. And it's because they, these pieces come to me and I don't know how to just not, you know, put them in order, maybe get, you know, fit, finish one, get to the other one later. I don't know. It's like a quarter. I just feel the juices going for that piece at the time. I start it and then it gets like, okay. I'm going to start a new one. So, I, I don't know. I've got to focus a little better, I guess. Balance my time. I need to be getting up at the time. Sometimes I get wake up. I wake up at like 3 o'clock in the morning at times. I'm turning upside down. I don't like painting all the way down to the bottom because it's touching the easel. I already got enough paint down there as is. But um, I get up like, wake up at like three o'clock and I am fighting to go back to sleep until like five o'clock, six o'clock. And then it's near time for me to get up so I can get an extra hour. So I've decided I may as well just get up and go with it. It's like I've been programmed. We all programmed, aren't we? We're like night time and it's night time. You're supposed to be sleeping, not supposed to be us. And I was like, I've got to 
start deprogramming myself and saying it doesn't matter, I don't have to be up at the crack of dawn. I have no, you know, obligations in first thing in the morning. My day doesn't really start until around 10.30. I, in the week, weekends, I don't know if you know, but I'm at the gallery. It's Black Market Wall Street. No, it's Black... Let me get it right in my head, because it's still more, it's still early. Black Wall Street Market. It's in Stonecrest. Um, gentleman that I met in December of last year, when I was just looking around, his name's Arzell, master artist. He's been doing this thing for like 73 years. It's really, really, really good. So we got talking for like an hour in there, maybe longer. And a couple of, I came again a few times, you know, looking at all the different pieces in there. It's not just art, it, it's kind of art. Um, you've got jewellery, um, clothes, there's, there's just so much in there, you just got to check it out. But he offered me a place there, a little spot, in his, in his gallery. That helps show some of my work there. I get to paint there. So it works out for me. But I'm there Friday through Sunday. I get there around um, 12. And we close 8 o'clock on Friday and Saturday. Um, depending. If it's a slower day, we might leave early. And then Sunday closes at 6. So, if you want to check me out there, you can come. But yeah, my day is Thursday, no, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I'm there. And then, the weekdays, I'm here creating. I'm going to get back on my videos, because things got a little hectic and slowed down on that. But I'm getting back on it, guys. I'm getting back on it. I like doing them. But that's my base right here. And this is where I'm stopping at. In fact, I've got another piece. I'm going to go ahead and do that because being as I've got paint in here already, I'm going to go ahead and use that. I'm going to put this one aside just to dry. It's going to take a little minute because I put a nice layer on it. And I'm going to do another piece because I'm actually going to do a galaxy series. I don't just do galaxies, guys. No. Um, I don't know. I'm just on. <laughs> I just keep getting these visions of them. So I'm just going to go with what I'm um what's coming right now but yeah i do a lot of scenic pieces too and i am working on um a tiger that's scenic and then um, an african piece with a scenic background but a lady is the main feature on it so yeah i've got a couple of things going but it's kind of helps me too because if i kind of get a little, um, I don't know, the colours get a little tedious sometimes if you go with a certain colour scheme. And especially if the piece is a large piece, you just need, for me, I need a break every now and again. So I then I'll just work on something else. But I've got to get back to those two because I want to finish them. I have some large pieces that I, I want to get done too, really large pieces. And they're on panel board as well. So I'll be displaying those as soon as I get them done. But yeah, I've got loads going. Loads going in my head. I'm going to drink my um, cup of tea. Yeah, I keep, if you notice, I keep the um, brush strokes the same way. I don't like them going zigzaggy and everything because when you start to paint, you see it in the background, especially on wood. You see everything on wood. So, yeah, I try and stay in the same pattern. I don't like it to change. It just keeps a nice, smooth piece, to me anyway. I don't know, I've seen people kind of do this thing and brush it in, but I don't. To each of them, what works for you doesn't, isn't it? It's a beautiful way to start the morning. Though. 
This is the most relaxing, peaceful pastime ever. So even if you're not doing this to sell work or as a business, just as a pastime, this is beautiful. You should try it if you haven't already. I don't know, one day I said I might start doing them sit and paint things, I don't know. I think since Covid that slowed down big time. I don't know how effective it would be online. That's a fun thing to do. Have a little sit while you paint. You see how fast this goes? That's the good thing about acrylic, it's so quick to dry. But when it comes to my scenic pieces, I can't get the effect that I want. The blends that I want, that you can get from oils. And then, to me, the oils, I don't know, the paint just seems a, lot, a little richer, a lot richer. You can make acrylics look really good. I use a heavy body acrylic when I use it. So it comes close, but when it dries so fast you know you have to work so quickly and I'm not always that quick sometimes I have to go back and fix certain things and I don't like to use another load of paint because it's sometimes it gets difficult on the acrylic to get that same color palette so when you use oils and it's still wet that next day or the day after you can still go ahead and blend I love it I used to hate it too I couldn't forget it going for nothing Everything used to be acrylic at first. I've done chalk, or what do you call them, soft pastels, what they call them. I've done that. I love that. I like using that too. I've done sketches, but I don't know. This painting takes me away. I love painting. It's fun. I'll paint a house, paint walls. A gentleman came in and he was talking about, a young gentleman, how he wants a big panther. He wants it the size of a whole wall. So we'll see if he gets back in touch with me again when he wants that done. But that would be beautiful. I love doing murals. So if you're anybody interested in that, let me know. Just get on my, um, in my email. Go on my Instagram, Brush of Art 1111, or my website, which is in my Facebook page. You just got to click the, just click the link. It'll take you there, and um, you can order that way, or my email, Brush of Art at gmail.com. But I have actual finished pieces in the gallery that you can go see and that's at the um, Black Wall Street Market, Stonecrest. It's on Mall Parkway. Just put it in your GPS. It's easy to get there, easy to find. They open on Wednesday through, through Sunday. But like I said, I'm not there until the weekend. Friday, start, weekend starting Friday. That's when I'm there. See, I've primed two pieces. Um, I may probably end up going to go around the edges too because I don't know, it just gives it a nice finished look. You know, if you go to um, get a print done, you can now get it wrapped so it looks nice and clean at the, on the edges. Well, I like my original pieces to be like that too. I don't like when you see all the paint and fingerprints and all that stuff from handling. I mean, I know it's artwork and it's to be expected, but I like that nice finish. And this is just in case, like, you can put this in a frame. This one's a little bit thicker. I don't think you would need to put this one in a frame. But in case you don't want to, it's already painted on the sides. It looks nice. It's clean, you know? And for my priming, I don't use any expensive paints. I don't. I, I use whatever. Just to get that nice coat. Because 
I end up layering, I don't care if it's um, oil or acrylic, I layer a lot when I do my artwork. I do a lot of layers. Depending on the piece, that is. Depending on the piece. I think this one, <laughs> it's still going to be a, it's a galaxy piece, but I guess it could be um, abstracty too. I'm not very good at abstract, you know, the traditional sense of the word abstract, but my free thinking pieces tend to make you think a little bit on what I'm trying to say. Because every last painting I do really has a message, you know, down to my animals. You know, we've got to become peaceful with them. There is a connection. There's supposed to be a connection with everything. Everything to do with nature. And that's what I try and capture on the, um, my artwork. That's what I try to do. I hope I'm not covering the whole thing. I just turned it to just get the edge. But you see what I'm saying? Like... You see the top of it just gives it a nice finish instead of having that um, blank top, which I didn't do on this one yet. I'm going to, but you see on this one, you see on the sides here, it's not as nice. So if you could paint, just paint it black, it just gives it a nice finish. Yeah. So now that I've finished getting that coat on, I'll do the bottom of this. Um, when it dries. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish off my other piece that I was working on. But I just wanted to let you see that I've started my day already. Go with the juices as they flow. Don't bite it. It's a waste of time. They won't let you sleep. <laughs> they won't. But I hope you all have a wonderful day. My day is off to a good start, I think even if I am a little tired. I'm putting this down to dry. And then I'll start on the next piece. Okay? All right, you all have a good day. Talk to you all later. Thanks for joining me. Bye.